Hey guys, Barry Infos here and these are my 10 favorite characters in Grand Theft Auto 4 The Ballad of Gay Tony. This game has some very interesting characters, fortunately there are not many so making this list was pretty easy. I will not include the protagonist Luis Lopez here because I will make a separate 10 best protagonist list in the future. Anyone else is allowed to spot. Let's see who I picked and I would love to see who you chose as your favorite as well. So without further ado, here are my 10 favorite characters in Grand Theft Auto 4 The Ballad of Gate Tony. Number 10 goes to Timur, the last of the two big evils in the game. Timur is Bulgarin's right hand man. Bulgarian won't even get a spot here because I dislike him a lot. But Timur is a bit different. He does not give a damn. He openly insults Luis, who he has to work with. Sure, they need to work together to accomplish their mission because Bulgarin said so, but that doesn't stop him from giving Luis a piece of his mind. I love how he talks and looks. He has a passion for playing the guitar and he shows it. Follow your dreams, bro, and get off my case. You wanna shoot stick $50,000 guitar up your ass? Number 9 goes to Jonel. Jonel who? Jonel, nigga! Well said, Yosef. Jonel is the most minor of minor characters in this DLC. She has no personality and her role is insignificant, so I can't say much about her. She is just Yosef's prostitute who wants to do her job as quick as possible. If I was her, I would not be so hasty because Yosef has the dough. He could make me a millionaire if I do exactly what he says. So, Jonel, maybe. Maybe you should rethink what you said. I love the exchange these two had in the only cutscene she's in. She covered up for Yusuf pretty well. That's an honest hooker. Listen, are we gonna do this or what? I'm on the fucking clock, man. Number 8 goes to Margot. Ah, it was about time I included a nutcase in the video. Speaking of minor characters, here is Margot. Louise hooked up with her once. And since nobody can resist the manliness of Louise, she started stalking him. She sent him presents, letters and probably looked through his window at night while he sleeps. I wouldn't be surprised. Margot is so attached that she would rather kill herself than take rejection. Luis, a bit of advice I've said before in my videos. Don't stick your d in crazy. I tried to give the same advice to Claude from GJ3, but you saw what happened with Catalina. I mean, I'm sorry we can't be together. You can't have me. Number 7 is Rico. Oh boy, oh boy, this guy. The guy with most likely the funniest quote in the game. It's rare when I pick up a phrase from a video game and use it in real life, but this is one of them. Rico is hyper. He's a macho man, or so he thinks. Nobody is stopping Luis. Rico is the lesser of the lesser evil called Timur, but he's just as pathetic. He, like everyone else, wants money and the way to get it is by extorting it from gay Tony. Louis, being Tony's bodyguard, doesn't like that one bit and constantly talks back to Rico. Sadly, his words don't mean much considering how huge of an ego Rico has, but it was worth a shot. You got burrito breath, you ain't been eating Mexican again, have you? Number 6 is Abdul Amir, a guy who appears only in one cutscene, along with Jonel. He may be the most sophisticated character in the whole GTA franchise. Yeah, no joking. Have you ever seen someone else this well dressed, who has such a powerful voice, is ultra rich and doesn't go around causing mayhem around the street? All GTA protagonists are maybe more rich than Abdul, but they're either ghetto boys or have a thirst for blood and kill many people they meet. Abdul is different, he's a businessman, he makes his money by building stuff. Unfortunately for him, Yusuf is his son and his wealth is often misused for hookers, gold plated phones, video games and many more. Come to think of it, I would make a terrible businessman because that's exactly what I would do too. When a book is called guns, drugs, hookers and no pants. I think I don't need to read it. Number 5 goes to Armando and Enrique. Yes, I'm placing two characters in number 5. 
Sue me, I don't care. For me, I don't see a difference between the two. They are essentially the same person. The only difference is that one has a red jacket and the other one has a green grey one. That's it. Both talk bad about each other and about Luis. Both want to become rich. Both can't enter the club because they look poor. Like I said, I see no difference. Well, I guess Enrique has a lower IQ? That was mentioned a few times, but Armando does not fall behind. Both are idiotic drug dealers, and I don't see why Luis is still hanging out with them. Are you running errands for some ass muncher? Yo, Tony's alright, man. He's, He's like, like the, the daddy, daddy I never, never had. had. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sugar daddy. Number 4 is Arnold. Yeah guys, the game is full of minor characters and some major ones like Brucey or Gracie are not even interesting. That's why you see people like Arnold here. This French guy is pretty funny and like all French guys, he made me laugh the whole time. The accent is what gets me. Yeah, I know, bad info's talking about accents again, but... I like them guys. The way he speaks gives me joy. We don't know much about him because he's a very minor character, but his story is pretty decent I guess. Not much to go on here, but he lives an interesting life and he even complains about having a threesome? What? Crazy Arnold is crazy. I don't mind when the girl play rough, but when the pimp come in and he plays rough too... Oh, la 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 la. And now it's down to the final three and speaking of crazy, we have Maori on this spot. We had a macho wannabe dude on the list called Rico, but there is no bigger macho than Maori. I mean, look at his fighting skills. <laughs> oh, oh, oh god, oh, yeah, what the fuck, man, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, <laughs> oh well, uh, forget what I said, Maori is a big fat well, not so fat pussy, who is all talk and no show. Sure, he has muscles and a great tan, but he's a baby. He kinda reminds me of Brian from The Lost and Damned, maybe Brian lost a lot of weight, got some tan and became a hotshot? Could be, could be. Mori is super funny and sure, I don't like him as a person, because he's a scumbag towards his employees and friends, but as a character I love him. Exactly packing a 10 inch hose, man. Me? <laughs> I make girls wince. Ah, uh, wince. Number two should be obvious. It's the Ballad of Gay Tony, and he must be on the list. Not because he is the Gay Tony, but because he as a character is very well fleshed out. Tony is a businessman, and as such he is always trying to do the right thing, best for his business. Unfortunately he made some deals back in the day, which are now haunting him, and he can't catch a break. People try to kill him, scare his workers, extort information from him, and much more, even with the help of Louise. Things are looking real bad. Oh yeah, and he's on drugs all the time. I guess the stress really got to him. If this is what being a businessman is like, I really, really don't wanna have my own company. Keep your millions, I'm fine with doing stupid YouTube videos. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17 year old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison, shouldn't I? And finally, on the number one spot we have... What? You really don't know? For real, guys, Yusuf Amir is one of, if not the best character in any game ever released. I am serious. How can someone dislike Yusuf is beyond me? I very rarely laugh out loud while playing a game. Sometimes I get excited and scream a bit, but almost never laugh out loud. Well, the first time I saw a Yusuf cutscene, I was laughing constantly. My humor is like his. I also used to be like him as a teenager, always hyper, trying to f everything in sight, saying the n-word because it, I thought it looked cool and much more. Yusuf has way too much money and doesn't know what to do with it. He spends it on video games, gold-plated weapons, cars and whatnot. Unfortunately, some people wanted him dead and we can't have that. Without a second thought, Louise disposed of them. In short, Yusuf is amazing, and I wish that more characters like him were in other GTAs. Just having a little Wait. creative meeting and things went a bit crazy, and uh, 
I somehow lost my pants. <laughs> and that's it guys for all the best characters in Grand Theft Auto 4 the belt of gay Tony. If you don't agree, let me know which ones you like the most. Subscribe to my channel for more top lists, lists of best games and what not. Thank you very much for watching and a very special thank you to my two lovely Patreon supporters Alex Chavez and Max Robinson. I'll see you in the next one.